Welcome everybody. We're going to have a little different on this one. I'm doing a voiceover. Let's see if it works out okay. Playing you alive. And I'm down in Despised Dungeon. And we're going to see what happens. All I'm doing is just running around and trying to test this thing out a little bit. I've never done voiceovers before. And my mic was messing up. I'm trying to pull was back feeding, so we're going to do this. This is on UO Live using uh, classic UO as a loader. Uh, it works pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with the game so far. I'm looking at some of the attributes on some of this stuff I'm finding. This dungeon, you can easily pop in here. <clears throat> oh, I do as many times as I can. And run around all the Ettons and uh, all the Ettons and stuff. They're all, they all put out quite a bit of gold. I can come down here and, and I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and make 5,000 gold easily. I'm trying to save up to get me my first house. So, oh, that works out pretty good. Over there to the left, you can see that area. There's some acid elementals down there. They're very mean. <laughs> I tried them once. <laughs> they almost killed me. So, here in a little bit, I run down there and see them and run back off again. They are just, they're out of my league so far. I think if I had, uh, Something to do away with the, the uh, poisoning, I might be able to help, but I need my poison resist a lot higher. There's a, you get quite a good, a good amount of uh, weapons down here. Is that the one I just found? I think I'm, oh, I can't remember if I go back and keep checking this one. I got a sword that was, uh, oh, what was it, 98% life leech. I, could, I was shocked I found it. That may not have been it. it nope, that is it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I keep going back and looking at it because I can't believe it has that much on it. And it's one I found. I'll play for a while. This dungeon is pretty fun. Uh, the only thing I find with it is oh, so many things to catch on when you're running around. I wish this game they'd made, I don't know how you want to put it. Yeah, I know newer games have this where things are kind of curved more. So you just run and it kind of bumps you around them. This one will catch in. You won't you won't see nothing there hardly, and it's there, but it's hard to see sometimes. You're stuck on it. But other than that, I'm very very happy with this uh, sword. They have uh, 
hate to say it, it's night and day compared to the OS I. You know, the original version of this. It's, uh, I don't know. They've actually did with our, the devs what the regular game have should have done over the years. And this is just a private server, so it runs on donation. The other day I saw there was like 300 people on at one time. So it's it's not a it's not a small server at all, and they have a lot of stuff they've done. It a lot so far. It's uh, I'm having a lot more fun here than I was on OSI. So. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. The uh, Razer has. I'm using Razer also, enhanced Razer, and it has a uh, auto loot, which is handy. It doesn't work the best, but you have to stand right over them. Sometimes you don't get right over them, it don't auto lose. But it's just as quick to, well, I wouldn't say it's just as quick, but it's just as easy to just double click the, or click the uh, gold and get it over there. I don't know, I like it though. It works out pretty good. We'll see what happens. This clip's only about 16 minutes long, so. And it's just me running around the dungeon. This is back down where I, my rune is set to right in through here, where the Cyclopean Warriors, oh, there's one. There was, when I bounced in here, there was three. They're okay, I can do them pretty good singly. Even a couple of them at a time. There's three usually when you pop in here and you know, kind of run and get them get them separated. I uh, <clears throat> I started playing this because I saw that uh, Trillion saw her playing. She was doing a a how to on this, and I I watch. She really does teach you good how to do it. The macros, I've been lost on macros, but her explaining how to do them, I was simple. She walked you right through it, so I got my macro set up, and what I mainly use is uh, the uh, oh, tilde key, and then one, two, and three. My tilde key goes to next uh, 
next hostile. It highlights them, so I'm fighting them. Then my one key is my bandage key, which that reminds me I need to go get some more, make some more bandages. But, uh, uh, my bandage key and then my two for my, uh, consecrate weapon and enemy of one. I'm trying to get enough gold to build a house. So when I get a house, I can get me a, uh, the deal that makes the enhanced bandages. Then I can make those so I can have a lot better bandages. Trying to decide on my house what I'm gonna do. I don't know for sure yet. I could buy just a little thing and waste the money on it and get a pre made one. You know, I, I got enough gold to get that right now, but I just don't want to really waste the money. So it takes about 40 some thousand or 45,000 to get enough to make get a custom house and I'll get the gold back when I want to go bigger. I just need to get something going. My bank box is getting pretty full, which it'll hold a lot, but uh, making the enhanced bandages is really what I'm wanting to do. They've already, I've already gotten for, for uh, joining the forum and joining their Discord, you get, they'll give you a myth, mystic token, which is real simple to claim. <coughs> Now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with it because uh, tamer, I hate taming. I hate it, but I've gotten used to, uh, I've started using pets. So on, on the regular UO. So, uh, I don't know. I really want to try a pet again now that I'm getting a little more used to them. Uh, that's my bank box. But uh, I don't know. I ain't decided what to do yet. Because she says, she in her, she says to make a crafter. So you can start crafting stuff. So that, that would give you all 90s. You can have a good crafter right off the bat. And make your own weapons and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I, uh, the tamers would be so much better to waste all that oh I got that horse <clears throat> it, for some it was something I achievement I made I got that now I got quite a bit of stuff in there I got some paragon chests I need to find somebody to open them for me I don't know I'm trying to think what the next character I want to make I pretty much decided I want to make a bard uh, I thought I'd try that I've never had a bard. I know plenty that do, and they can do pretty good with it. So do a bard mage, I guess. I don't know. Or a bard tamer, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to get some... some suggestions on what I should do. I think she has some more videos. That Trillion might have a few more videos I want to watch of her playing. Uh, she changes her her uh, plod platin than I like I'm doing right now, or paladin, whatever you want to say it. She changes it to a tamer, tamer paladin. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So I haven't watched very much of that yet. So we'll see. Uh, I think I mess around here in this in the uh, mag box for a little while looking at things. Uh, this game's also got, I haven't figured out how to use them yet, but they're called uh, Brit, Brit coins. And you can go set at, you can AFK at the uh, Rune Library. So that's what you'll see. Oh, I'm showing you on the side there. You have free skills they give you that you can just, they don't count against your 720 skills. So... It's the list right below. I'm trying to change that to free skill and I keep messing up on it. There I go. But uh, I rename it to free skills. And I'll scroll down and make it a little bigger where you can see them. But 
yeah, it's quite a few free skills you can get, and they don't count against you. So uh, I need to start working on a few of them too. I didn't. I I keep forgetting about that. Uh, they're mostly gather skills, is what they are. But uh, you see, I've already got hundreds. <laughs> I got hundreds and everything else. I got all them things built up. So, uh, okay, am I leaving now? I don't remember whether, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going to go around and go up the stairs here and they got moon gates up there. I've only went through the one. This one right there. Look, they have a lot of extra of uh, places to go. I haven't even, even, I haven't even dabbled in all those. This is right outside Takuno. It's actually hooked to Takuno. You can go to Takuno and get there the same way. But you just park yourself down here and and leave yourself and you just shrink the game down and it leaves you here and you make them them coins build up i don't know i think i i don't know if i look at it here a minute. i looked at it earlier i pulled it up you do bracket wallet and you can uh, do it so yep that's the end of the video thanks for watching everybody we'll see how this works <laughs>